Welcome to Live Life Inspire Views for Every Day. My name is Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul. My sister Frida posed a question the other day on our weekly family Zoom time. She said to us, How would you answer this? What is home? Immediately, my brother Jim said, Where mom and dad are. We grew up as preacher's kids, so we moved to different houses in our growing up years. And the presence of our parents and the artifacts that identified our family values and treasures adorned the houses we lived in to make them home. But the question created some wonderful discussion. Remember a couple weeks ago when I shared about the woman on a train in England who was asked the question from a fellow traveler, what should I know about where you come from? Some people are fortunate to have warm and cozy memories lurched into the present when responding to a question like that. Some people have darkness and pain permeate their bodies like sharp triggers when questions about their before, so to speak, are asked. Many people are traveling now, getting away for a summer vacation or break from routine. When those moments are over and you're returning home, do you just then yearn for the place where you always rest your head and go about your daily life? It feels good to walk back into the familiar when you return from a vacation or time away. That sense of familiar could be articulated as home. When you return to a place that you know so well or have such history, that familiar can wrap you up as though a warm blanket has been placed over your shoulders. I love that sense of familiar, don't you? It equates with a sense of belonging. It's so important to belong. I've always told my graduate students that there are two instincts that we are born with. One is the ability to suck for nourishment. The other is the need to belong for nourishment. So could the man on the train have asked the woman traveler, what should I know about the place where you belong? Just as our physical home can change throughout our lives, so too can that sense of belonging. There are important ingredients that are required to create the sense of belonging. Just as a home is created by artifacts and people committed and related to each other in some way, the sense of belonging is created by trust, acceptance, and caring for another. There is an old English, Irish saying that goes, you are the place where I stand on the days when my feet are sore. I love the monologue Garrison Keeler once shared about having a home in town assigned to the students who lived in the country. It was called their storm home, the place where they would go to stay when a storm kept them from returning home to the country after school. He often stood in front of it and imagined knocking on the door during a blizzard. He could almost hear the wife come to the door and call back to her husband, Earl, our storm child is here. <laughs> what a good image. Yeah, it is. Storm home and a storm child. Where do you go for ref refuge when you are hurt, afraid, feeling like a storm child needing to be soothed? When my dad was turning 70, he and mom joined us for a tour to Norway. We bought him a t-shirt that said, If ever I am lost in the world and you find me, please return me to Norway, for I am loved there. <laughs> well, that sums up the message of this podcast, I think. As I write this, I'm sitting in my home office, a place where I meet my students on Zoom for our class sessions, a place where my beloved books fill the shelves, a place where I can learn anything I want to, a place of so much of my identity, a place where I do my work, which gives me so much purpose and meaning. It's my retreat, a place where I go when my feet are sore. This is just one place of, my, of home for me, a place where my soul belongs. There are many more. What if we took a moment to think of all those places where we can find a sense of home, of belonging that feeds our soul? Wouldn't that fill our hearts with a peace, a contentment in these days when so many things encourage us to feel anxious or fearful? So what do I need to know about the place you call home? Where do you go when you are a storm child hurting and afraid? Where do you go when your feet are sore? Where do you know you belong? Hmm, write it down. And you guessed it. Put it on your bathroom mirror. Join me next Monday for Live, Life-Inspired Views for Every Day. 
I'm Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul.